SpaceX is gearing up for a big moment, Starship. Their next-gen rocket is about to take its fifth and final test flight before blast-off, with the FAA license still a few months away. Is this a bit too ambitious? Or could SpaceX be gearing up for a surprise launch schedule? Let's find out. SpaceX's Starship, standing tall at 121 meters, looked like it was straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster completely covered in a frosty white coat. No, it's not gearing up for a Winter Wonderland photo shoot. This was part of the latest propellant load test on September 24th, as the team prepped for its much anticipated fifth flight. Imagine giving your car a quick test run before a road trip, but instead of gasoline, we're talking about cryogenic propellants and a rocket that could one day take humans to Mars. Typically, this test involves filling the rocket's tanks with the propellant it'll need to blast off. But this time, SpaceX decided to load just enough fuel to ensure everything was working perfectly from the tanks to the pumps to all the complex parts involved in getting a literal rocket off the ground. By mimicking launch conditions, SpaceX can check a few crucial things. First, is the fueling process smooth, leak-free and efficient? Second, can the temperature and pressure stay in the right zones without any surprises? And third, can this giant metal tube handle the freezing temperatures of the cryogenic fuel without turning brittle like an overfrozen popsicle? Finally, SpaceX gets to check the overall performance of Starship systems under real launch conditions, all without actually launching it yet. This is where they identify any last minute quirks that need fixing before the real deal. So, while we're not quite at liftoff just yet, this test is a major step towards seeing Starship take to the skies and eventually the stars. Everything was running like clockwork as SpaceX proudly announced that propellant loading and pre-flight checks for the fifth flight were officially in the bag. And of course, Elon Musk, SpaceX's ever enthusiastic chief engineer, wasted no time hopping on social media to let everyone know Starship is ready to fly. Naturally, this latest test has the space community buzzing. Some are even speculating that Elon might just throw caution to the solar wind and launch Starship ASAP FA approval or not. Now, I've got to admit, the thought of Starship taking off sooner rather than later has me pretty excited too. But before we get too carried away, let's clear up a few things people might be missing in all the excitement. First off, the propellant load test is not the last step before launch. Nope. After this, SpaceX will run what's known as a wet dress rehearsal, basically a full-on launch simulation. Minus the fire and fury of engine ignition and liftoff, it's kind of like when you put on a suit and tie for a big event but haven't left the house yet. This test typically happens about a month before launch and includes fully fueling the rocket while making sure everything passes the ready-to-fly checklist. Even if SpaceX aces the wet dress rehearsal and all systems are a go, don't expect to see Starship launching anytime soon. Historically, there's been a bit of a waiting period between this dress rehearsal and the actual liftoff. And as for launching without the FAA's stamp of approval, that's a hard pass. Even if Trump makes a political comeback, there's no presidential magic wand that can make national regulations disappear. No matter how much Elon and his team are chomping at the bit, the FAA remains a roadblock you simply can't zoom around. Sure, there's chatter about the FAA possibly loosening its grip if a new administration steps in, especially with the strong backing Elon gets from the space community. But what do you think? Agree or disagree? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and show your support for these two heavy hitters. Criticism of the FAA's slow-moving, paperwork-heavy process isn't new. California Republican Congressman Kevin Kelly recently took a swing at them, while simultaneously applauding SpaceX's efforts, particularly with the Polaris Dawn mission. In his speech to the House, Cully made it clear there's no time for bureaucratic red tape when a company like SpaceX is on the brink of making history. He's baffled that the FAA would hold back such progress with what he calls frivolous fines and delays, especially when the stakes include global leadership and national security. Elon Musk, the Tony Stark of our times, didn't miss a beat when he dropped a quick appreciated under a video on X. The clip featured Congressman Kevin Kelly giving a shout out to SpaceX and calling out the FAA. Clearly, SpaceX isn't the only one tired of the red tape Congress and the aerospace industry are starting to raise their eyebrows too. Now, let's get real for a second everyone cares about the environment. We all want to protect our wildlife and ecosystems. Is SpaceX really the bad guys some headlines make them out to be? Claims of SpaceX wrecking wildlife or harming the environment have been thrown around like confetti at a New Year's Eve party, but how much of it is true? Dan to Space Padre, a local resident who took to X to spill the tea, his first-hand account sounds way more authentic than those distant agency reports. Space Padre spent 19 days exploring the 400-mile Texas coastline, and according to him, SpaceX's impact is, and I quote, ridiculously minuscule compared to the vast stretches of empty beach. 
No pollution, no dead fish, no birds dropping from the sky, none of the dramatic scenes you might have heard about. The real issue? Beachgoers leaving their trash behind like it's a souvenir shop. And guess what? SpaceX is actively working with the community to tackle that problem. Space Padre didn't stop there. He praised SpaceX as a good neighbor, noting that most of the employees are locals whose families rely on that income. As an environmentalist himself, he admitted that perfection is impossible, but he gave SpaceX props for being innovative and addressing environmental concerns responsibly. So big thanks to Space Padre for sharing his experience and giving us a clearer picture of what's really happening. Maybe it's time for those environmental agencies to rethink their strategy instead of slowing down Starship launches. Why not focus on cleaning up the beaches? I think we can all agree that would be a much better use of their time and resources. SpaceX isn't just blazing through tests for fun, they're making sure everything's ready to rock for a flawless flight. The recent propellant load test is all about fine tuning the rocket to hit those ambitious goals they've been dreaming about since day one. Now let's rewind a bit to flight four. It was definitely a step forward, but not without a few hiccups. Sure, the rocket reached key milestones, but a Raptor engine decided to take a break during ascent, and then another engine went on strike during landing, resulting in a pretty spectacular boom. But hey, no mishap report from the FAA, so they must have thought it was a partial win. That said, these little issues made it clear there's still work to be done before SpaceX can fully realize their space traveling ambitions. As we gear up for Flight 5, the engineering team is rolling up their sleeves to tackle those engine problems. They're working on beefing up the reliability of the Raptor engines and tweaking the landing sequence to avoid the fireworks we saw last time. SpaceX has a bold goal catching the rocket mid-air using the giant chopsticks on the launch tower. It's a cool idea, but some folks think it might be a bit too risky for this round. Instead, we could see SpaceX playing it safe with a soft water landing before going for the full chopstick catch on a future flight. SpaceX's latest move hiring a recovery ship for Booster 11 has sparked a wave of speculation. Is this a salvage mission or could it be a sneaky way to scout a landing spot for future super heavy boosters? Environmental concerns are also a factor. With Starship launching near sensitive wildlife zones, SpaceX must navigate strict regulations. Any delays could jeopardize their ambitious launch schedule, which is crucial for their vision of space exploration. Mastering the booster catching process is key to Starship's success. Think of it like trying to catch a frisbee thrown by a quarterback while blindfolded and on a moving boat. It's tough, but it's essential for future missions. Each failed landing or booster mishap slows down progress and affects the cost effectiveness of reuse. With NASA's Artemis mission on the horizon, SpaceX needs to nail this booster catching game. It's not just about the moon, the future of Mars missions and space infrastructure depends on Starship success. So that's all for today, folks. We will keep you updated on all new things happening in the space above. But until then, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates. Watch, think, ask and learn, and we will be back shortly. Until next time, see you.